Okay, people, what's going on? What's good? Um, Jacrell here. It's been a while since I posted on this channel, right? And I've actually been playing a lot of Starfield and I've been going heavy into the shipbuilding aspect. I, I probably spent half of the time playing this game, you know, building ships like it was City Skylines and a quarter of the time doing missions so I can level up and build better ships. <laughs> So this is going to be my first showcase of a ship that I just built recently and it's going to be a B-class ship. It's going to be an efficient, easily accessible ship in terms of, you know, accessing all the, the cockpits and stuff. And this is it, my lovely creation. I present to you the Tadpole. Okay, and I guarantee you, it looks exactly like the tadpole a tadpole okay i'm gonna put a side by side comparison you can see it looks exactly like a tadpole okay i'm gonna give you a tour of the interiors and uh let's be careful with the jump here oh no i just gained a contusion and i'm pretty sure i've got a dislocated limb somewhere okay let's let's um do a tour of the interior, hi Vasco. Captain, do you require my assistance? Nah, we good. Um, as you enter, you will see a uh, a living, a living room, a living quarters. Just, uh, I can't pronounce quarters, so I say living room. And this is a uh, Daimos living room, if I'm not mistaken. And Habs are quite subjective okay in this build you can do you can do whatever you want with it but i wanted easy access to the cockpit and this is the landing bay access this is the uh docking bridge whatever you call it there's a, a small dining space here and immediately you go straight you're in the cockpit but this is not just any regular cockpit it's a big ass bridge okay Look at the, look at the view, the par panoramic view of New Atlantis. I'm telling you right now, please, can you keep silent? I'm, I'm trying to express myself here. <laughs> I'm trying to present. Okay, if you go to, if you go over here, if you go back here, you go here. This is the, uh, the all, uh, the all-in-one hab. I think this is Deimos or, I think it's Deimos, Deimos brand. And... Before I used to do like a three by two hab, which is large and spa spacious, but it didn't have a bed. I wanted a lot of beds for my crew. So I did like I divided this into two and they have some privacy and they have a window. This might be the only window in the ship because I'm trying to keep the weight down and you can see the view from the window here. And if you go this way, this is the captain's room captain's quarter i can't pronounce quarter don't make don't make me pronounce it okay um it has a navigation console study table it has my bed that doesn't look comfortable and a small meeting room this is a nova strout so it looks a bit luxurious a bit dark a bit different right this is deimos okay and the best thing about this bridge is it has stairs okay so it's easy to access this is two levels I want to make it as accessible and as efficient as possible, as cozy as possible. If you go straight from the bridge to here, you can see the battle station. Now this is a big ass hab. It's like a three by two, I think. There are bigger habs, but yeah, I'm not building a big ship. This is a B-class efficient ship. You have the navigation console, the big ass navigation console, and all this computer spewing, okay? If you go here, you have the workshop where you do all the workshopping and he's pretending to work. I don't, I don't think he knows how to operate that shit. What is it? Um, hi. Okay. <laughs> Get nervous around her, to be honest. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's all we have in terms of habs and you can even go down this ladder, right? We have access that way and we can go back to the bridge. Uh, what else do I need to show you? I think that's about it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, how this this thing runs. 
in space. Okay, we're gonna do that. We might even take a mission and destroy some pirates. Okay, let's do that. Let's take off. And you can see my ship in action. The timing of that comment. <laughs> a tadpole in space. Okay, so this is what it looks like in space. I know it's kind of awkward. It doesn't have wings and <laughs> it just looks... It's a tadpole. What do you expect? It's not a full-fledged frog, okay? So I'm going to show this thing in action in battle, how it does. And I only have four weapons, I think. So we're going to go to Aquila City. So yeah, I'm in Aquila City and we're going to take a mission just to show you the, the how good this ship is, right? And I'm going to take a bounty mission and try to catch some pirates. If you want to skip ahead, I'm going to do a build, sort of like breakdown of the ship as well. So here we go, destroy the Crimson Fleet. And by the way, I am part of the Crimson Fleet, but I've just been doing a lot of these bounty missions and I am wanted by the Crimson Fleet, okay? That is creepy as hell, by the way. <laughs> just standing there. You can see the silhouette there. Beautiful. Well, to me at least. It's subjective, right? Tadpole in space. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot. It's a level 20. It's not bad. And by the way, I don't have missiles. Because I'm not... I can't be bothered, you know. Just, you know, dealing with missiles. Because I got to press G. Sometimes I press another button and I go out of my ship. And yeah, as you can see, it's a powerful ship, right? It has some of the best equipment. Some of the weapons are all right. The shields are all right. And I just destroyed this Crimson Fleet ship just like that. Okay, this level four is trying to annoy me. And as you can see, it's a powerful ship. It's kind of quick and it can handle, I think even level 30, it can handle pretty well. Uh, I've defeated whole fleets. This guy is just running away from me, by the way. Also, another advantage of not having missiles is the power distribution, right? And other than the intuitiveness of not having to press G and if only we could have our crew do the missiles, right? I hope that'll be a a function in the future and this guy level four they like to run away from you because they know they can't hang and we're done <laughs> just like that let's grab our loot and i'm going to bring you to the den which is one of my favorite places and you can kind of buy you can sell all your contrabands at the den your friendly contraband buyer okay in the wolf system and i'm going to show you the build if you're interested as you can see here because of the design it's really easy to get in and out of the ship right not to mention these two entrances are right next to each other so here we are at the den this is where you can sell all your contraband and you can do ship stuff too and what can i do for you i'll okay. show you all the parts and not all parts are taken not all parts are taken from the same um shipyard so i'm going to show you um where they were bought not show you i'm going to tell you okay i it takes fuel to go space so you i'm not gonna show you okay okay now i've got my ship disassembled and i'll do a breakdown on all the parts that you need to make this ship i doubt anyone will want to make a tadpole in space but it is what it is the first part that is rare a, a rare part which is not i mean it's not common in the in the game you gotta go to um the soul system you go to i think venus and 
you go to Titan. Okay, there's a shipyard here, there at New Ham. I, I forgot the name. There's a shipyard there at. Let, let me check out the name. Oh yeah, it's called New Homestead. And my bad, by the way, the planet is Saturn. Okay, Saturn in the solar system, and this is where you can purchase a Cabot C4 bridge. Okay, I don't think you can find it anywhere else. And then we have an assortment of pretty much six habs and while this is objective to me you, go, you you need this bridge for the ship to look like a tadpole and for it to work comfortably you need this bridge but the habs is subjective you can i mix and match my hab as you can see this is a strout captain quarters two by one i got a demos demos workshop demos living quarters Deimos all in one and a big ass Deimos battle stations. And if you want the Deimos stuff, you gotta go to I think it's Mars in the solar system as well. Um, there's a station. Uh, let, let me just refer to. And by the way, I got the idea for these two parts from a video by Tag Back TV. Shout out to Tag Back TV on YouTube. And if you don't understand my instructions, you can. Um, he also. It was from this video that I discovered all these parts all these ship parts and if you want the Deimos um, stuff I think you gotta go to Mars I think it's Mars I'm gonna show it on screen by the way and there's a Deimos star yacht okay it's right nearby the the uh, the place where you can get the bridge okay and you can get this these two by two battle stations ultimately it's up to you how you want to handle your habs okay that's is subjective and different halves will get different designs and i think different mass as well i'm not sure okay and then i'm using a z machine 2000 reactor this is available in most places and if i'm not mistaken i got this from the tayo the tayo you have to go to um neon city and you go out the lift the elevator you turn left you go straight you can go to the tayo headquarters and you can get some some stuff there as well and this is z machine 2000 reactor it's a b class it's probably the most i just picked the most expensive of the range right and i have a bet rd 1000 beta graph drive okay probably the most expensive as well um and then um i have a i have a live a three by one living quarters in the middle because i wanted this to extend a little bit and I have a ship bed 2200 landing bay made by Tayo. You can get this at Tayo, okay? Like I said, in Neon City. You're gonna have to build like a ship first in the first shipyard. Or you can build one at Tayo or at somewhere in or the, even the den. And then you can replace the parts that you have to get elsewhere. I'm, 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 my, I mean, that's just the way it is, okay? That's just the way it is right now. It's a bit glitchy, but that's the way it is. <laughs> And, and then I use these uh, Nova bracers. I think you can get these from the den, right? Who kind of give it a tail kind of thing. And this, I think, is a Shinigami landing gear. Um, I just like the way it looks. It kind of looks cozy and cute and roundy like a tadpole, right? And you can, um, you can mount weapons on it as well, by the way. And, and then I have these 500 THE3 tank. I think you can get this in most places, by the way, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't even remember how I did, did these. Nah, it is, it is what it is. I don't remember. These are all subjective. You can do your ship however you like, but I choose the best equipment because I got the money, right? And I put one engine here, which is a white dwarf 3020 engine one of the more expensive ones and it kind of fits in with the whole rounded cozy look and i like to put engines like this as asymmetrical is that what you call it if if i put it like this it's not going to look good when you're flying just you're going to just see engines and that's it so it gives a bit of a different dimension and a tadpole tadpoles usually have those small hands right so i'm gonna put put these caravel v101 cargo hold somewhere here to kind of that's the little tadpole hands you know um i like the i like the look of this cargo hold as well but it doesn't hold that much cargo okay and i got two more 
I, I, I don't remember where I put them in the first place. I'm just going to put them here. <laughs> I don't remember. My bad. Okay. My bad. And uh, we're going to put some weapons here. I just have a Ravager 20 MEV Auto -elect Electron Beam. Don't ask me about weapons. I don't know anything about weapons. I just put the more expensive ones. This is objective. Maybe you want a different system for your weapons. It's up to you. I don't have missiles, by the way. And this looks... Yeah, and you have the tadpole. Okay. Tadpole in space. I hope that was useful for you. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot two things, right? This. The Warden SG200 Shield Generator. Okay. Probably the most expensive ones for the B-Class that I can access right now. Put it here and down here i didn't even change the color of this one it's pink black pink um it's a slim darker okay from deimos so you can get it from deimos i put it right next to the landing bay easy easy access okay and i've got just one <laughs> just one part hole here and the reason being if i do another one look at the mass it turns red i mean this is subjective you can you can you can there's no problem with the mass turning red I just want an efficient ch ship, okay? An efficient chip. Ship, fish and chip, what? I'm thinking about fish and ship right now. Um, that would be nice though. Anyway, I just wanted an efficient ship, okay? That looks like a tadpole and moves like a tadpole, okay? Okay, I wanted to add something, right? I forgot to mention this. Number one, if you look down below at my stats, everything is in order, right? There's nothing in yellow or red, I mean, Everything is nice, so that's what I was saying about trying to make like an efficient ship, efficient ship. Um, the jump range is good, 27. The mobility is good, and the mass does not exceed what is required. I might add some windows to add. It might, you know, go up a bit the mass, but I like windows, right? That's the only thing, the difference, just a bit. And I got a good, a decent cargo hold of about 1,220. I mean, it's good enough. Um, I might need to build an outpost for other stuff that I'm collecting from this game. Another thing I forgot to mention is you got to paint this ish black. Okay, you got to paint this ship black. It's a mixture of total blackness and dark gray. A hint of dark gray for the natural wholesome tadpole look. Okay, you got to get that right. You want it to look like a real tadpole, not a fake one. I see all these people making ships, trying to emulate something from cartoons or like Star Wars, and they don't get, they don't get the real, they don't get to make it as real as when I make my ship, it looks like what it, it is intended to be. They don't, they don't make, their creations are not as real as mine. Mine looks exactly like a tadpole. I see people making, you know, Millennium Falcons, X-Wing. They don't look like the ones in Star Wars, but my tadpole actually looks like a tadpole in real life. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? Just flexing for no reason. All right, that's all. Get back to me, the other me. All right, there you have it. A tadpole in space. And let's see the ship in action again. And okay, so I hope you've had, I've, I hope this was useful like I was saying, I hope this was useful for you. I don't think it is. And I hope you enjoyed my tadpole design. And that's all for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a few more Starfield videos. Okay. And, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Peace.